Hello, so I wanted to show you how um, to write a set interval in React with uh, React classes. So this is um, a project I'm working on, but what's really important is just we're in component did mount here. And uh, you can put the set interval in other places if you don't want to use that, but this is the, I think this is the best place to put the set interval. And so here, um, I'm gonna write set interval and then I'll show you the right way to do it first. So, here, so you're gonna make an anonymous function. <coughs> Same as the one that I have commented out down there. Okay, and then that should do it. And then in here, if we go to our console, we'll see, oh, it's going too fast. I think it needs to refresh. There we go. So it's doing it. Uh, one second at a time and then but um, so I'll show you the wrong way to do it which is what I was I did the wrong way first and then that is if we take this away uh, I'll just delete it and then if I try to do set interval and then do a console.log uh, no no um, brackets console.log Okay, so if I try to do it that way, it's going to execute the console.log immediately, and then uh, all we're going to have is a result, and it's not going to be able to set a function, set the interval of a function, because con this is just a result, it's not a function. So if we go here, we check, it's going to print out console.log, just the console.log is going to execute here, and it's going to print hey there. And then that's going to be it. There's no function to to set an interval of, and that's why it doesn't keep repeating after that. So the important thing is to remember to uh, either make it an anonymous function, or um, I think you can also put it in a format where um, you declare the the function with its argument in the um, in the set interval. So there you go. So if we're doing this. Um, Properly, we want to clear the interval also down here, and component will unmount once uh, we get our set interval properly set up. So if we do that, want to do that, we're going to have to set it as a as a variable interval. And um, there you go. That's how you set interval in React.